Hello everyone, Xforts here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be rushing Apprentice Bow. If you guys wouldn't mind, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It only takes a second and shows that you like what I do. Now, this game was pretty insane and I did not expect it to turn out the way it did and I put loads of time into preparing this series so if you would want to watch till the end, I would very much appreciate that. Before we do begin with the video though, the next episode of this series will be depending entirely on you guys, so if you've got a minute, leave what you would want me to rush next time down in the comments. Anyways, love y'all, enjoy. First things first, Apprentice Bow doesn't require any resources that are actually hard to get, so it's a pretty steady rush. The main thing you've got to remember when rushing this is that you've got to use your bow advantage on people that don't have a bow. The kit I'm going with for this strat is Archery Set. Now, the way this kit works is you get 6 string, 12 feathers, and an efficiency 3 on brick and 1 stone shovel. Right at the start of the game, you're gonna want to make your remaining stone tools as quickly as you can so you can get yourself set up to go down and mine. Now I realize I didn't actually mention the part where I got wood, so you're gonna want to do that at the start of the game. Get about 10 logs, I think that's all you're gonna need. Anyways, let's continue. Before you do though, you want to try and get to about 200 to 300 blocks out from 0, zero and find yourself a surface cave. Once you've done that, all you need to do is quickly grab 3 iron ore and 2 coal so you can make a quick pick. Now it's key to get 32 iron ore, 4 coal, and 21 redstone as fast as possible. That way, you're already set up to make your gear whenever you want to go up. Obviously, if you were to find gold or diamonds, you should definitely go mine them. I did manage to find somebody in my cave, so I obby trapped them and got up a little late, but usually you want to attempt to rush up a minute or two before PvP, so you can get yourself apples and run to 0, zero. So when I finally got up, I sheared trees in order to get some apples so I can make gaps, and only a minute later, I was lucky enough to run into another player. Key things to note about this first fight is that you're going to want to bow spam as much as you can, trying to lose as little health as possible. Now, I was up against a guy who did have a bow, which is definitely not what I wanted, but he did have a diamond helmet for me, so it was worth taking the fight. Someone else immediately snuck up on me after that, so I actually backed out at first, but he didn't seem like the best player, so I just went in for the melee fight. After the fight, I got cleaned and I accidentally tabbed out mid-fight, so I managed to get down to half a heart, but I did recover from it, luckily enough. Then there was a guy cleaning, the guy cleaning me, and it all got pretty hectic, but he ended up getting the kill on him, and he then ran away, leaving me with the loot piles of two people, and when he came back, I bowed him till he was dead. And yes, believe it or not, someone else came in to clean as well. You might be thinking to yourself why I'm meleeing all these people. Truth to be told, constantly bow spamming nowadays is really tough, since you're more than likely to get cleaned, which is exactly what happened here. If you have the possibility to bow players that don't have a bow, I'd highly recommend doing that instead of meleeing, since the most you'll lose in a ranged fight is a bunch of arrows, but in this situation I just really did not want to get cleaned so I just went in for the melee fight. Okay now back to the guy cleaning, he took the head from the last guy I killed and ate it during the fight, but I didn't lose that many hearts so not too much to complain about here. I also got 2 quarters after that, so that definitely helps too. The next player I found was someone who was actually really stacked compared to me, so there was no real point in bow fighting him, so the plan was to melee rush him instead and attempt to kill him while he still had some gaps on him. Sadly enough he didn't die with any gold nor gaps, but with that diamond chestplate I did become 3 fourths diamond and I was already very stacked. And in between fights I made some more sharpness and protection books so that I could do more and take less melee damage. After getting really stacked, this guy tried to obby trap me, which resulted in him getting obsidian trapped by me, and I even ended up dropping him with a few gaps. I didn't really lose any health here. The next person I fought had less gear than I did, and wasn't the best at bowing, so I kept it at a ranged fight. At one point he tried to head rush me, but I placed down water and rotted him back, letting him waste his last piece of healing, and then I ended up killing him with my bow. I then crafted Dice of God with this head, which was mainly for the video, but I actually got super lucky and managed to get Hide of Leviathan, giving me the last diamond piece I needed. Then there was a pretty ignorant guy who I just meleeed, honestly not too much strategy involved in this, just thought I would mention it anyways. Next up I chased down a guy and shot him a few times until he died. Again, not so much strategy involved. Another player then got himself stuck in a 1x1 one one, so I wanted to obby trap them, but they just ended up dying to the fire damage instead. With his diamond gear I was able to make fusion boots, which just makes me feel a little bit more secure about the win. I went back to 0-0 to find the only person that was somewhat geared in this game only being half diamond. They pulled off a good fight and after it I made fusion 
and a sharpness 4 diamond sword. That actually made fate at the start of deathmatch, which made me start a little later than usual, but I got it and rushed the person closest to me, killing them pretty easily. Then weirdly enough, there was someone who wasn't wearing any armor, basically a free kill. Then I gave all my healing to the last player to attempt to give him a fair fight, and I just ended the game the same exact way that it started. Apprentice Bow.